speaker and of course our listeners today will uh, contribute to the discussions. But before that, we have the prayer. Please, may we present that Environment. 
and we also utilize the accelerometer. Accelerometer is the sensor inside your phone, smartphone, um, that detects uh, acceleration. So a smartphone has Y axis, X axis, and Z axis. The one that we utilize is Y axis. So if you move the phone up and down, we change it to move forward. That means if you're using it and then you like walking in place, it will move forward. Like um, simulating as if you are walking in the virtual world, but you are actually walking in place. The limitation, however, it won't detect backward movement because what it detects only uh, vertical movement and it translates as to move forward. So if you back, it doesn't translate to any movement. So what we use only when you walk in place, it will translate as to move forward. So this, uh, this is the screenshot. The VR display will estimate the <coughs> kilometers by running in place. Okay, we have, uh, I have the, the prototype on my phone. If anyone would like to have a demo with the app. Anyone? Yeah, this is 
by showing 10 kilometers of the mean intensity is what I mean. Any questions? How big is how big is the uh, yeah. the universe the area of the Yeah we can make any. Right now it's only one group world probe. Uh, we can make just like circular anything. We just need to change the object. Do you have some more questions? Can I ask a question, sir? Um, can you show us some data when you tested yeah, uh, no, your base? You don't, you don't yeah. Not part of the research, what we made is only create the sensor and make the app. We have one furthermore, maybe we can try and we get the data. You mean data testing? Yeah. Okay. So it's not yet part of the objective of the study to uh, at least test the efficiency of the gadget. Okay. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, since now there's a Google Street View, can we use that platform and then equip, but equip that with the algorithm so that when we review it and then we review it, it's like walking our, in our neighborhood? Oh, uh, um, you mean apply the algorithm? It's it's, we just code it in the Unity. So in the Unity, we can get the parameter of the accelerometer. So we get the parameter accelerometer. When the accelerometer is high, then we move the object plus one, something like that. So it's not that rocket science algorithm. It's just getting the accelerometer sensor parameter. For example, the parameter is zero. So when we get the zero, means we nothing. But when the accelerometer go up, it's a, it's a real time. So it's the sensor service. Uh, I didn't turn on the astrometer. We can show it like in the monitor, but you guys cannot see it anyway. Uh, but it's possible. So when the astrometer is higher, then move. If it's higher, for example, larger than 20, then it's jump. We can we just translate the object to jump or to forward position plus one. Something like that. And the kilometers. This we trigger it when we call the function. Kilometer equals kilometer plus one. Uh, sir, how about the universe? Or you develop that universe, right? Oh no, no, the universe is free. You can get this asset anyway. But you can call it. Given this 
31st day, oh no, 29th day of October 2018, in Silang Cavite, Philippines. Signed, the four uh, presidents of the four universities, Dr. Gayok, 